All right, guys. Welcome back to another 10-Minute Tuesday. This week, we have a new face on the podcast. Who You've seen him before, though, in some of our videos and stuff. I, Nate. Most he, of you know me as yeah. the Boy Scout from the Boy Scout podcast. Guy. Yeah. Tech guy, Nate. Yeah. Nate's our, nerd. Nate's our tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> freaking nerd. Nate is, Nate is a big part of Midwest Flowers, though. He is. He helps out a lot. He does a lot for us because me and Joey are illiterate. And dude, I'm a dinosaur when it comes to technology. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, dude. Bad news right. bears. So let's just get right into it. This week on 10 Minute Tuesday, I want to do something that was just a little more fun. Mm-hmm. What do you think about let's that? Let's get back to fun, dude. Yeah. Let's get back <laughs> to fun. To fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this week on the podcast, we're doing three things that will make hunting more fun. And Joey, I'm going to let you lead off because I know you had one that I think it's obviously the most important one. Yeah. No, I think right now on social media, like everyone's a grinder, dude. Everyone just grinds for the birds. They're like, oh, yeah, I kill more birds than you do. What call do you use? That call sucks. What gun do you shoot? You know what I mean? But they all are. But they all are compared to what that grinder is using, you know? So to take all that away from it, that can make hunting not as fun for a lot of people. They feel like they need to shoot their limit. They feel like blah, 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 blah. Dude, if I have one mallard... Right in front of my face, man, and I crank that thing with a twenty gauge. I'm all about it. I'm, you know what that I'm is? I'm good. You know what that is, dude? Uh, good. It's a uh, fun. Yeah, going back to fun. <laughs> We're back to fun, dude. <laughs> but I think a big, big part of it is, I've had so many bad hunts, dude. But they were good hunts in the end because we only shot like one or two birds. But I was with the right people, and yeah. those people had the same mindset that I did, which is. Let's just have a really fun time, have some couple cups of coffee and, yep. you know, like, oh, man, you missed that shot. Oh, you're full of crap. And then you take a, a really bad picture at the end of it. Yeah, a terrible photo. Yeah, just yeah. a really low quality photo, high yeah. memory, high quality memory. <laughs> yeah. For you sure. Yep. That's number one for me is just going out with the right people, man. Like those people are just really obsessed with it. Yeah, well, and I mean, the other thing, I think for you, you're saying really obsessed with it. For me, it's more like the people that are there to have a good time. Because, like, really, at the end of the day, the thing we love about it is the activity of it. It's not the, how many bands or birds we shot or if we have a Benelli or a Remington or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, we're just out there because we love hunting. Like you said in that video, in me time, like, you're going to be doing it with a poop bag. Yeah. You know so, what I mean? So, <laughs> so for like, those of you who haven't seen me time, we'll put that in the <laughs> description below. It's on YouTube. But um, what I meant by that is no matter... What situation I'm in in life, I'm still going to do this yeah. every chance that I can. Yep. And you'll you know? do it with people or you'll do it alone. Yeah. It's like, like I'm going to make yeah. my kids push me out in a wheelchair. Yeah. And I have a catheter and a poop, poop bag. Yeah. And I'm still going to duck hunt. Right. Now, will the poop bag most likely <laughs> explode on me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It will. It big it most guy. like big poop bag guy. <laughs> and I'll be there to film it the whole yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Nate will be 48 because he's 20 years younger than <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And I'll be 70. Back to another podcast <laughs> with Midwest Flyways. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <Dude>. Ski. <laughs> oh, no. Dude. No. Okay. So that's a good one. Thing number two. Thing number two. So this was one that's important to me is uh, do your part. Because one thing that's really annoying is when you're hunting with people. And you know how, you know, how, like some people like really do their part and then other people just kind of like chill. Mm hmm. So that's like a big one for me because if everybody's kind of helping out and like doing their part in it, then it just makes it easier. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I agree with that. I think if you can find that one thing in hunting, whether you have like the brush hog or whatever, like you can cut down all those, all those tall reeds and stuff, you know, like you are that guy. Yeah. And people, I don't know. I, the guys who are tall reed guy, the the people, the people that just come prepared to brush in blinds. I respect them more than anyone, honestly. And if you don't, if you do not help, they have fun time. They do not come back. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Um, what was number three? Oh, challenge yourself. Yeah. So as of late, I have been, um, shooting a 20 gauge almost all season for ducks and geese. And I know a lot of people that shoot a 28 gauge, and 16 gauge whatever just all these sub gauges and it is so much more fun shooting your limit of mallards geese whatever with a 20 gauge it just adds that extra element to the game Mm. or just using just silhouettes or just you know like making it harder on yourself especially if you're in a good area and you know you're going to smack them up like try something new see how it works see how 
I don't know, just think outside the box. Yeah, I think a big thing too is then you you learn so much more. Yeah. Right? And when you're learning something more about something you already love, you just become more and more into it. You know? And it's, yeah, like you said, it just becomes more fun. Yeah. Well, and then also, um, you're not just repeating the same thing over and over and over again. I remember one season, you literally couldn't keep the birds out of our spread. And this is before you and I were hunting together. Yeah. And I was just, it was almost boring. It was just like, okay, we're going to put the decoys like this every single time. We're going to put our blinds here. I mean, it was the same field and everything, just like over and over and over again. It's like, okay, I'm kind of getting sick of this. And then we tried something different because they weren't working as well, and then they finished even better than they did on the first day that we hunted. And I was like, whoa. That was probably the most fun hunt we had. That was cool. Yeah. That year. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Seriously, one of the funnest hunts I ever did, saw this sunken in bean field out in Dundas, Minnesota. I was working in you know, a town 30 minutes from there. So it's way far from my house at the time. And there was no hide whatsoever. So I dug in my layout blind a little bit and I literally slapped mud all over it. So it looked like a little mud growth. A little mud hide. And I smacked up those geese. I shot my solo limit. And it was just my dog and I with her in, in my layout blind in between my legs. She made me miss a shot or two because she jumped out of the blind too fast and Whatever, but I would have never thought of that if I was like, oh, well, it's not like that one hunt. And nah, 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 nah. Right. You know, that was a challenge for me. Yeah. And it was fun. Yeah, I think most people can relate that to pretty much anything. Like any hobby or anything that you love, the more that you try to challenge basically like what you know to be true, mm -hmm. or what you think to be true. Like you said, like going an all silhouette spread or going like a super small spread, you know, putting mm -hmm. on 10 birds or, you know, something like that. Every time you can do that and then be successful or even if you're not successful, but you learn from it. Yeah. Like, oh, they did this, but then I screwed this up here. It just becomes, yeah, it becomes more and more exciting. Right. Yeah. So we've got Nate here. Nate's yeah. only duck hunted how many times? I've only... I've only killed one duck in my entire time hunting with you guys. Yeah. And it was actually in Maine. I got a hen eider with uh, Connor when we filmed for DNA guide service uh, a couple years ago. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry, not okay. to, not to okay. flex on you there, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that I've ever done, but I've hunted with you guys several times filming and doing all kinds of different fun stuff. And, uh, but the, the thing for me, especially for hunting is being, being able to, hunt with you guys and have a good time. I know that I know that I can't get something every single time, which mm -hmm. is fine, but being able to have a good time with you guys is always it's always fun. Going with the right people. No, it's fine. Yeah. So your right your people. favorite thing about duck hunting that you've noticed in the limited amount is just mm -hmm. being with really good people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, I wouldn't put myself in that category because I'm not a good person. Right. No, you're yeah. terrible. Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'll leave. I can leave right now if okay. you'd like. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and say it. I mean, I'm a good person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dude, no. this 10-minute Tuesday is 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So right now. Now we're yeah. making up for lost time. Yeah, so what? like to fill the gap, right? Like midwestflyways.com slash shop. Or, I, yeah, yep. Nate's that wearing the hat right now. If we weren't doing it. Hey, and we just opened up the shop on Instagram, so it's easier for you oh, to be able to buy it on Instagram. Right. So. Go. Get one of these and get a sticker because you can. Okay. This kid's been no. hanging out with Connor. So now I've been hanging out with Connor you're, much. you're gonna stop <laughs> flicking your hat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't do that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, dude, let's end it there. We got yeah. the our next guest here for the podcast. Yep. So be sure to watch the episode with Stan Guzzi and Simon Carlson. Thanks so much for watching this 10 Minute Tuesday. See you guys.